zoom in on these little guys. Okay. Okay. First thing, every problem you do in the entire chapter is following four simple little rules. Step one, every time you get to a problem, you draw a free body diagram. Free body diagram. Forced body diagram, some people call it. Free body diagram is you pretend it's just the object and then all the forces acting on the object. Who cares about the object pushing back? Okay? okay. So let's try one real quick. Um, uh, Dave, if gravity is a force acting on your body right now, okay. you don't care that you're pulling the earth up. Okay. Because for every force, there's an equal and opposite force. So that means if you fell out the window, earth pulled you down. Yeah. That means you pulled, pulled the, the earth, earth up. Who cares, right? <laughs> I care about you falling down out of a, of a building. That's what's most important. So you're saying you want me to fall out of a building. If it's for the good <laughs> of physics, yes. All right, so here it goes. If you draw a free body diagram, then you draw all the forces, and you lie a little bit. You pretend all the forces are pulling from the center of mass. Not until we get to a chapter called torque do we care about where it's pulling from. But right now, we lie. Here's what okay. the lie is. Here's a mass just sitting on a tabletop. Name all the forces acting on the object, on the mass. Name a force. Christian? Uh, gravity. Gravity. Now, your teacher likes labeling gravity mg. Why does he label it mg instead of w or instead of the force of gravity? Because then I remember how to find that force. The mass of the object times 9.8 on planet Earth. To go to the moon, it's the mass of the object times 1.67. Right. The punchline is this. Look what I did. I drew an arrow, and then I labeled it. Name another force acting on this mass while just sitting on a tabletop. It's the natural force, right? The well, you're close. It begins with the letter N. Yeah, it's uh, no, I've got a normal force. Normal force. So the go. normal force is a force of the now. Christian, the force is really from the surface pushing on the object. But I'm going to lie a little bit and make it so that that force looks like it's coming right out of the center of mass of the object. And I'm going to label that Fn, the normal force. OK? Dave, if you looked in the dictionary under normal, you would find the word, well, you first you'd see a picture of Christian with a line through it. Yeah. But then <laughs> after that, you would see a right angle. Normal means perpendicular to. So here's how you remember it. The normal force is always, always, always perpendicular to the surface. Okay? You don't have to take crazy notes. So you don't have to take crazy notes, right? Right now, because you're going to have this on YouTube with your funny comments in the background. But... Right now, just write down that normal force is perpendicular, and in this case, it's, it's, it's fighting MG. Who's winning if this block is just sitting there? It's just sitting there. Anything at rest wants to remain at rest, unless there's a net force acting on it. What if it's not moving? What if it's just staying there? Nothing wins. Nothing wins. So what can you tell me about the normal force and MG? They're equal. It must be equal and opposite, because you learned in vector chapter that when two vectors are equal and opposite, if one's 5 and the other one's negative 5, what's the net vector? Zero. Zero. Okay. So, do you see what I understand about a free body diagram? Okay. Step two. Every time you have a free body diagram, after you've done labeling them, label them, draw them, step number two is pick a positive direction. in the y-axis and in the x-axis. Pick a, pick a positive direction uh, vertically and pick a positive direction horizontally. Okay, step three. Break up vectors into components if needed. Now, in this particular case, we got one right on the vertical axis and one right on the horizontal axis. So step three doesn't even apply to the simple question. And step four is the most important that everybody, for some reason, doesn't know what to do. Here's step four. You see this on the video? 
Look on there and see it. All right? Step four is apply F equals MA. When I say F, I really mean the sum of all the vector forces in the x direction causes the mass to accelerate in the x direction. And sum all the forces up in the y direction, it causes the mass to accelerate in the y direction. Okay? Now, Christian, if you follow these four, I can't stump you. There's not a question that I put on the test. There's not a question that you can assign for homework that doesn't, if you follow this recipe, doesn't get you the answer. Okay? Let's do it for this easy one. The sum of all the forces. Okay? The sum of all the forces. Okay. The sum of all these forces. You ready? Let me go over here. I wish I wrote left-handed because then you'll be able to still continue that. All right? But let's pick, uh, let's see. Draw a free body diagram. Pick a positive direction. Which way do you want to be positive? Up or down? Guess what? It doesn't really matter. But you want to pick the winner if you can. So pick the winner. A little caveat. Look back at um, step number two. Try to pick the winner. What do I mean by the winner? Whichever force is greater, the one that's actually going to beat the other guys and create an acceleration. All right? So if you can pick a winner, that'd be great. Now watch this. What if I do this free body diagram and I say, which way do you want it? Up, up is positive. So here it goes. Break up into components. Don't have to. So watch this. Step number four, sum of all the forces in the y-axis causes the mass to accelerate in the y-axis. Okay? Now, sum them all up. Which one did we say was positive? The normal force. So positive normal minus mg equals ma in the vertical. But guys, what's that thing doing? Is it flying up in the air? Or is it falling down? Or is it just sitting there? What's the acceleration? Zero. So in this case, this is zero. So what did we just prove by just obeying my recipe? The normal force minus mg equals zero. That means the normal force is numerically equal to the weight of the object. Now, that was in the shallow end, blowing bubbles. Okay? Ready to kick your feet a little bit now? Sure. Okay. So let's try this all over again. But this time, let me give you another question, and I want you to draw the free body diagram for it. Ready? A mass is on a horizontal surface moving at a constant speed. Did you hear that? Moving at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. A mass is moving on a horizontal surface at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. All right? When Christian pulls on it with a force of 15 newtons. So this is the force of Christian. Okay? How much friction is there? How much frictional force is there? You probably could do this in your head. Okay? Let's play out the tape here. Ready? Draw a force body diagram. Free body diagram. What two more arrows do we put here? We put the force of Christian and another arrow. Dave? The force of the friction. Which way is friction always pointing? It opposes the motion and it's parallel to the surface. Normal was always perpendicular surface, it's the surface pushing on the object. Don't ever draw a normal force when something's hanging by a string. If something's hanging by a string, there's no normal force. That's when your feet are touching the ground and the electromagnetic repulsion of the ground is not letting you sink down into the ground. What's quicksand? Quicksand is something where the normal force doesn't equal your weight. It can't push up as much as you weigh, so what, who wins? Gravity wins, okay? So, on a normal seat, it's equal to your weight if it's just sitting there, okay? So, friction opposes the motion, and it's backwards. 
Did you draw a free ride diagram like that? Man, I hope you did. Okay? So look what happens here. I got this one, normal, mg, and friction. All right, so what am I supposed to do? Sum all the forces up in the y-axis, cause the mass to accelerate in the y-axis, but in this particular case, nobody's winning. So there's no acceleration in the y-axis. Therefore, when I sum up all the forces, I get the normal force minus mg equals zero, which means the normal force equals mg. This would have happened even if I picked down as positive. In other words, I just repeated what I did. Now I want you to do it with the other one. The sum of all the forces in the x direction causes the mass to accelerate in the x direction. So let's go through the steps. Free body diagram, what's step two? Pick a positive direction. Which way do you want to be positive? Force cushion. Doesn't matter. You're not going to get this wrong. Let's say to the right is positive. That means any arrow going the other way, we have to put a negative number on there. So let's sum them all up. What do I do? 15 newtons minus friction, see, the opposite way is negative, equals ma in the x direction. But what is the acceleration in the x direction because I'm in the shallow end blowing bubbles and kicking my feet? Zero, because it's constant speed. So that means this is zero. So what does that tell you about friction and Christian pushing? Nobody's winning. Friction equals 15 backwards. Okay?